get to it, shall we? We're gonna start standing up with the feet a little wider than hip width apart and spread the toes really wide, pressing them down into the floor. The arches of the feet lift up and you feel this sensation in your feet, activating the feet, enlivening the feet. This is so helpful for us, especially as we age to really activate the feet. So here today, we're really gonna tune into that activation as our connection with the earth. So imagine like standing in some, some gushy mud and you're like squishing your toes into the mud and stretching out the feet and feeling that beautiful connectivity to the earth. Soft knees, feel your heart lifting, shoulders releasing away from the ears. Maybe pull your chin back slightly and feel this heart lifting, expanding pose here. Either soften your gaze down towards the floor or try closing your eyes. Closing your eyes while standing can be a little challenging, so... That's why we have the option to just soften the gaze if needed. So feel your body rooted here. And when we talk about rooting, you can imagine roots coming down from the soles of your feet down into the earth. And notice what that feels like. What's the felt sense when you connect with roots? And roots need to be established before growth upward can happen for all plants. They're also where plants receive nourishment and nutrients that work in tandem with photosynthesis, the sunlight. So we receive the nourishment of water, we receive the nourishment of minerals, That rooting is so important for us to feel connectivity, support, groundedness, nourishment. And just tune into those aspects of where you are right now. Feel that support during this kapha season of earth and water. We're really appreciative, sending gratitude down through your roots for all the abundance that you receive, the nourishment for your life force. Deepening the breath here in and out through the nose, maybe a little ujjayi restriction at the back of the throat, so the breath becomes audible. One more breath here. Feeling the strength of this physical body supported by the earth. And then we'll begin to roll the shoulders. So inhale, bringing the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, out the mouth and down the back. Again, inhale. Two more times. opening the eyes if they're not open yet. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. And as you exhale, cross the arms in front of you, squatting down, and then inhale, coming back up. Exhale, out the mouth, coming down. Inhale, up. 
So you can begin to speed this up if you'd like, or keep it nice and slow. See what the energy feels like for you today, and notice how your feet are keeping you grounded as your body moves. Two more. Nice. Inhale up. Hold the breath in. And then we're going to reverse this. So we're going to exhale, arms come out to the side, and then inhale up through the center. Bring energy as you lift up. Two more. Inhale up, hold the breath in. And exhale, wrist circles, float your arms out and down. Ooh, feel a little more <laughs> enlivened now. Let's take some hip circles. Bring your hands to your hips. And then going back the other way, reversing the direction. Sending gratitude spirals. <laughs> through your feet down into the earth. Beautiful, and then we'll swing side to side and you can lift up that opposite heel from the direction that you're spinning to. Coming back to center, inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive forward. Bringing the hands down to the floor, bend the knees however much you need to. Place the left hand on the floor, inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. You're going to bend deeply through that left knee, lengthen through the right. Exhale, down, switching hands, inhale, left arm lifts. Right knee bends, exhale down. A little squat down to the earth, pat on the earth. <laughs> Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, standing all the way up. Palms press together, exhale, hands to the heart. Again, inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward, bend the knees, left hand plants, inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale down, place the hand, inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale down, we'll switch again, right arm lifts. If you can open it a little more behind you, switching. And coming down. This time, shake the head around, upper body, releasing and relaxing here. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, standing all the way up, palms pressed together. Exhale, hands to the heart. So we're gonna come to the top of the mat, do a little flow here. So finding Tadasana pose at the top of the mat, hands to the heart. 
Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down, place the hands, step the right foot back behind you, high or low lunge. Feel free to drop the back knee to the floor if you'd like. Inhale, lifting the arms up, and then exhale, cactus arms. So the elbows are coming out to the sides, lifting through the heart. We'll take two deep breaths here, sending out gratitude for the earth. Strong connectivity through the base of your legs and feet. And with your next inhale, lift the arms up, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, touch the mat. Shift the hips back, lengthening through that front leg any bit that you can. Pulling back through the left hip. And then melting back into that bend and step back to a down dog. Bending one knee deeply and then the other here. And then inhale, pulling forward to a plank pose. Can drop your knees if you'd like and exhale lowering all the way down to the floor elbows and shoulders back we're going to uncurl the toes bring the arms out to the sides inhale lift up arms head and legs exhale lower back down inhale lifting up feel that connectivity through your belly to the earth Exhale, lowering back down. So you're welcome to do lift with the inhale and exhale down, or we're going to inhale and lift and hold for three breaths. And then exhale down, turn your cheeks to one side, let your arms rest by your sides, softening Feel the support of the earth beneath you. Supporting your own growth and evolution. Comforting. Nourishing. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, keeping the elbows in, pressing up to a cobra here. However high feels good to you, keep the shoulders away from the ears. And then curling the toes under, you can press back through hands and knees or straight up to a down dog. Beautiful. With your next inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through to the top of the mat, followed by the left. Hang in a forward fold. Shake the head around. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. And inhale, sweep the arms out and up, standing all the way up. Palms pressed together. Exhale hands to the heart. Take a breath here. Hmm. Lovely. Before we do the other side, we're going to find a weight or a weighted object or nothing, depending on what you would like to use here. <clears throat> and we're going to um, <clears throat> stand on the right leg. So we're going to hold the weight with both hands bringing it up to the right. So we're going to do a little twist here. And then as we exhale, we're going to bring um, the weight down outside the left hip and the left knee up. So if it's too much to balance here, you can just do um, keeping the foot on the floor and lifting up to the toes while you're doing the arms here. Or you can 
do the leg lift. Okay, so we're going to do 10 of these. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Think about twisting here. Five, six, seven, eight. Strong root through that right foot. Nine. Ten. Yay. So we'll set the weight down and then come back to the top of the mat. Yay. Hands to the heart. Inhale. Sweep the arms out and up. Exhale. Swan dive forward. Inhale. Flat back. Lengthen the spine, exhale down, place the hands, step the left foot back behind you, high or low lunge, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, cactus arms, opening through the heart, dropping shoulders away from the ears. Feel yourself shining out here, connected strongly, supported by the earth. Deep breath. With your next inhale, lift the arms up, maybe a little back bend. And exhale, touch the mat, shift the hips back, lengthening through the front leg, and back through that right hip. Any bit that length is available, feeling that activity through the right leg and then bending into the front knee again and step back to a down dog walking out your dog and then pulling forward to a plank pose drop your knees if you would like hold for two breaths And with your next exhale, lowering down, keeping those elbows in towards the body, shoulders away from the ears. So you're welcome to do what we did before, which was stretch the arms out and lift up. If you are up for it, you can hold on to your feet or your ankles and come into a bow pose. So we'll lift up from whichever variation you would like. Inhale. And exhale, release down. Again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, releasing down. This time, you can choose if you want to continue to lift up and down with the breath or hold up for three breaths. And releasing down, turn your cheek to one side and rest. <sighs> Relaxing into the earth. Such beauty, such beauty the earth offers us and offers itself <laughs> and all beings that live here. Such exquisite creation. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lifting up to a cobra. Keeping the elbows and shoulders away from the ears. Two breaths here. And then curling the toes under. Press back through hands and knees or straight up. Do a down dog. Hmm. Lovely. Inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through to the top of the mat, followed by the right. Hang in a forward fold. Shake around a little bit. 
Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, standing all the way up. Palms press together, exhale, hands to the heart, take a breath. Feel the connection through the feet. Lovely. And so we'll find the weight again. And we'll do the other side. We'll do these um, cross, cross movements. You can do it with or without a weight. It's still helpful. So we're going to balance on the left foot this time. And then we'll cross the right knee over. So inhale here. And exhale, cross. We're doing 10. There's two, three. Again, you can keep the foot on the floor if you'd like. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Yay. Good job. And so we'll come back to the top of the mat. Hands to the heart here. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, swan back forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale down, place the right foot back behind you. Keep the right hand on the floor. Inhale, twisting open with the left arm. One more inhale. And as you exhale, bring that hand down, step back to a down dog. Exhale here. Inhale, pull forward, plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, pressing up, maybe up a dog or cobra. Exhale, press back, down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through to the top of the mat. Finding your balance. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, touch the mat, step forward. Hang in the forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, standing all the way up, palms pressed together. Exhale, hands to the heart. So we're gonna do a tree balance before we do the other side. So grounding down through your right foot, spreading those toes really wide, reconnecting with the roots, going down into the earth. So option number one is to bring a little kickstand foot to the ankle. And you can just have the left foot connected to the mat still through the ball of the foot or the toes. Option number two is to come up to the calf. And option number three usually needs a little <laughs> support from a helping hand, lifting the foot up into the thigh. We wanna make sure that the foot is not pressing against the knee. So if that is the case, you need to move it up or down on your leg. So finding a focal point on the floor in front of you, something that can help you stay stable and feel how your body is working, like all these little adjustments to hold you here in this balance. If you'd like, you can reach your arms up to the sky. And Connecting with our brothers and sister trees out there. Feeling the root systems, the community. One more inhale here. And as you exhale, lower hands and leg together. Beautiful, shake it out. Yay! Come back to the top of your mat if you're not there already. And we'll do our little flow on the other side. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, swan leg forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale down, place the hands, the left foot back behind you. Keep the left hand on the floor 
Rotate right arm up to the sky. Two deep breaths here. Feel yourself expanding out in all directions, supported by the earth beneath you. And as you exhale, touch the mat, step back to a down dog. Exhale here. Inhale forward to a plank pose. Feel free to drop your knees. We're going to hold here for two breaths. And then lowering down, and you're welcome to come up into an up dog or cobra with your body resting on the floor. Engage the core strongly, press back, down dog. Hmm. Beautiful. Inhale, lift Oops, the left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through to the top of the mat. Grounding down, high or low lunge, lifting the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, touch the mat and step forward, hang in the forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, standing all the way up. Palms pressed together. Exhale, hands to you the heart and we'll do tree on the other side. So shifting the weight over into the left foot here, picking the right up, rotating the knee out to the side, focal point, drishti, helping you to stay stable. So you're welcome to bring the foot up to the calf if you'd like, or all the way up into the inner thigh. Make sure there's no sideways pressure against that knee. Take good care of our knees. Feeling yourself balancing here. All the awareness inside you that goes into that balance. It's a great reflection of how the earth is always working to balance whatever is happening, whatever us crazy humans are striving to do often without much consideration. Inhale, lifting the arms up. May we cultivate better balance, equanimity, connectivity, care, compassion. Ah, one more inhale and then releasing arms and leg together. Coming down. Beautiful. Let's bring the hands to the hips. Take some big hip circles here. I'm going back the other way. And coming back to center. We'll come down to the mat on our backs. And when you get there, hug your knees into your chest, rocking a little side to side here. And then crossing the right ankle over top of the left knee and holding on to the left thigh, flexing the right foot and inviting the legs in towards your chest. Nice figure four stretch here. Relaxing the jaw. And then keeping the legs engaged, release the hands and let the legs drop all the way over to the left. Stretching the right arm out from the shoulder, pressing into the inside of the right knee and press it away from the floor. Opening up the front of that hip. Ooh, it might be a little 
all tender in there so you can relax through your pelvis, through your hips. And let's take two letting go breaths here. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. With your next inhale, unwind, come back to center, realign the spine, hug the knees in, and we'll do the other side. So crossing left ankle over right knee and clasping the hands. If you can't reach, you can use a strap or a towel or a scarf around this thigh too. And deep breaths here, flexing the left foot, relaxing the jaw. Releasing the hands, keep the legs engaged. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, drop the knees all the way over to the right, bringing the right hand to the inside of the left knee and press it away from the floor. The left arm stretches out from the shoulder. <sighs> Breathing to the sensation in that left hip. Let's take two letting go breaths. <sighs> nice. Your next inhale, unwind, come back to center. And twist the legs, realign the spine. Hug your knees into your chest. Let the knees come away from each other. Reach through the inside of the knees. Grab onto the outside of the feet or the ankles for a happy baby pose. Rocking a little side to side here. If there's any final poses you would like to find before coming to Shavasana, feel free. Otherwise, stretch out along on your back, setting yourself up well, perhaps a blanket under your head or your knees. We'll come into Shavasana, which means corpse pose. And although we live in a culture that is in great denial of death, I like to think about this pose being the return of each of our bodies to the earth. So we bring all the vitamins and minerals and energetic cultivations through our lifetime, and then we give it back to the earth. So here... Resting, softening, and you feel that resting place just for a moment. That ultimate connectivity that each of us will experience at some point, we don't know when.
back to the surface of your body. Begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Feel the trickles of life like water coming into the earth, seeping back into your body, your bones. And as you're ready, bend one knee and then the other, placing your feet on the floor. And come to rest over on your right side. Taking a breath here and keeping your eyes closed and your attention internal. Gently press your way up to find a seat. And sitting with your eyes closed, allow these words by Mary Oliver to wash over you. This is her poem called Sleeping in the Forest. I thought the earth remembered me. She took me back so tenderly, arranging her dark skirts, her pockets full of lichens and seeds. I slept as never before, a stone on the riverbed, nothing between me and the white fire of the stars but my thoughts. And they floated light as moths among the branches of the perfect trees. All night, I heard the small kingdoms breathing around me, the insects and the birds who do their work in the darkness. All night, I rose and fell as if in water, grappling with the luminous doom. By morning, I had vanished at least a dozen times into something better. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart, pressing your thumbs in to feel your heartbeat, your personal pulse. And take a deep breath of gratitude, sending that gratitude from your heart out to all the cells in your being and all the cells, all the beings in the earth, on the earth. I thank you all for joining me for practice today. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.